All right, y'all, is Max Holloway playing with fire? Going to his BMF title fight against Justin Gaethje at UFC 300, many are calling for the bout to be canceled. Holloway, a featherweight legend, last suffered a brutal beating when he moved up to lightweight to face Dustin Poirier. It was a typical Holloway fight, one that saw the two fighters stand and trade, but this time it was Holloway on the other end of the punishment. Going to UFC 300, Holloway will be facing a lightweight with more power, a fighter known for wars. Could one more war have us saying prayers for the blessed one's career? What's poppin' y'all, Loot Too Sick, we are back in the lab. Hope you guys have been enjoying the new content we've been giving you, the UFC lists, the combat biographies, also the history videos we've been giving you on YouTube Shorts. Part of the stuff we've been uh, just plotting for you for the new year, we got so much more coming from uh, the whole combat world, from boxing, wrestling, mixed martial arts, UFC, and all that. But today, y'all, we got our first preview of 2024 we kind of slacked on that in the past but we ain't doing it no more we're getting right back on it and we're gonna start with probably the most historic event in ufc history and that's just because of the number that's ufc 300 man ufc 300 is a packed card um a packed card but a lot of people seem to have some issues with it all right let's run it down the main event being alex Pereira. Versus Jamal Hill. Okay, main event. All right. Pereira, a big name. Jamal Hill, not, not as much. The co-main event, well, that is another title fight. It's a women's title fight. And that'll be an all-Chinese women's title fight. That'll be Wei Li Zhang versus Yan Jiaonan. So, yeah, two title fights to lead off the card. But they're not the names you would expect for UFC 300, a level event. Some people were expecting John Jones. Some people were expecting maybe Conor McGregor. We didn't get that. Uh, the third fight down on the card, and that's the fight we're gonna be focusing on today. Whew. That's a goodie, baby. That's a goodie. That one is gonna bring violence, absolute violence. That's because it's two bangers, two gamers. They're fighting for the BMF title belt, and that is Justin Gaethje. Well, he holds the BMF belt, as we all know. He's on a two-fight win streak after beating Fiziev, knocking out Dustin Poirier. He'll be facing a legend in his own right. That's a featherweight legend, former champion, and that's Max Blessed Holloway. Now, on paper, those two names back-to-back, -back, it looks like it's going to be a good fight, man. But when it was announced... A lot of people have some issues with the matchmaking. Uh, for the most part being that Holloway is going to be moving up to lightweight to face Gaethje. And if you guys remember the last time Holloway moved up to lightweight, faced Dustin Poirier. He took some hard shots, got beat pretty bad. It was a decision loss. So, some people are worried that maybe Holloway could be throwing himself in the fire a little bit too much here. But, in my opinion... You want to be great. You got to be. You got to do great things. You got to challenge yourself, and this is exactly what Holloway is doing. What do you want him to do? When you look at when you look at it, down in the featherweight division, he's done all he needs to do. All right. What are we gonna have? Another Volkanovski fight? We don't want to see that. All right. A Taporia match? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. But really, Holloway has beaten everybody. Damn near everybody in that top 10. So he needs a new challenge. And this is his challenge to go to lightweight. He's been in some wars. We've seen him in some wars. We've seen him beat down some dudes. We've seen him always standing afterwards. Now the big fear here is, hey, you might be uh, challenging yourself a little bit too much. And really it just takes one punch, one shot to put you down and forever affect your chin. And then you're a different fighter moving forwards. But yeah, that's what a lot of people are talking about for this fight. I think it's going to be a goodie. I think it's going to be a banger. We all know these guys 
are the two baddest dudes in the UFC. So it's only right that they eventually come together. We could see a classic UFC 300, baby. All right. And you know what we do. We're going to fire up the matchup on PS5, on UFC 5. We're going to play it out. We're going to talk about what happens on the other end. And I'll give you my pick to win. It's Lou Too Sick, baby. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think below. But always, keep those hands up. Bang. All right, y'all, I'm going to play as Max Holloway because that is our boy. We're always covering him. Best boxer in the UFC, baby. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try to box. You know, Gaethje likes to do the leg kicks. You just saw it there. And break fighters down. And that'd be able to last all five. Oh, no. Bad way to start. Uppercut. Damn, B, what are you doing? That's it. Oh, Holloway's leaking already. I'm leaking. I mean, that's Max Holloway. He combines entertainment with high level. Ooh! Oh! Oh, no! All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop it. Don't stop this. Son, I'm leaking. Yo, son, why are you doing me like that, bro? Oh, come back. Oh, my God. Yo. You don't look good at all. Round two, let's go. That was maybe a 10-8 round. Oh my God, what are we doing here? Oh my God. Son. Yo. I am fighting back, bro. He's just doing this to me. Oh. 
That's ridiculous. Uh. My bad, Max. My bad, bro. I yo, you saw that, man. Max Holloway, which was me, well, he got his butt kicked, all right? Now, the question is, will that happen on the night of UFC 300 when he does face Justin Gaethje? And I think we could very well see a an outcome similar to the Dustin Poirier fight. See, Gaethje is a little bit different than Poirier. He brings a little bit more power to his shots. He really breaks you down. His shots really have an effect on you. And uh, Holloway is known to get hit. So I think eventually, uh, not like you just saw on UFC, it won't be a, a second round uh, knockout. But we could see a similar fight, five rounds, um, where Holloway is just getting beaten up the whole time. We've never seen Holloway dropped. We've never seen uh, Holloway knocked out. All his losses in the UFC have uh, been decision losses. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we do not see Holloway. We don't see his lights get turned out in this fight. Um, Cause yeah, like I said at the top of the video, man, once a fighter's lights go out, um, it makes it easier uh, to touch his chin and get him to drop again, moving forward in his career. We've seen that with guys like Tony Ferguson. Uh, we saw that with guys like um, uh, Luke Rockhold. Um, Tyron Woodley is another guy. Guys who, um, basically, as they get older, their chin does not withstand the punches that they used to. Um, so, the Lutu Sick official prediction for fight night. I think the fight will end up being a Justin Gaethje um, decision victory. Unanimous decision. And I'm worried. I'm worried that this fight could be brutal. I think this fight will be brutal from the start. I think these two guys, like we said, they are gamers. They're going to come out head-to-head. -head. Um, and they're going to come out uh, ready to take each other's heads off. So uh, when that does happen, I think what we'll see is Gaethje will eventually have the advantage with the power. Um, Holloway has the advantage with the speed. But in a five-round fight with those small gloves, eventually you start breaking down. Um, Gaethje is a very good wrestler. We've seen that. Uh, in the past, we do, we've also haven't seen it in the past because he doesn't like to use it uh, too much. So yeah, I expect him to just go with leg kicks, headshots, high kicks, um, and eventually get the decision victory. So yeah, that's the Luke Too Sick official prediction. Justin Gaethje by unanimous decision, the first of our preview for UFC 300. We'll do two more previews coming up, and that will be the main event and the co-main event. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, make sure you check out our new videos that we just put up. UFC signature moves. Also, five nearly unbeatable UFC records. Just part of new content we are bringing for you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you guys thought. And let's keep the conversation going, baby. Keep your hands up. Every time I wake up, shit feel the same Got a million thoughts and they ringing on my brain Sipping on my favorite liquor just to ease the pain Cause I feel like I'm crazy and desperate need to change Make your plans to move and talk from state to state Talking pounds and haze, medical high Ray, look on my eyes, stay, what more can I say? How dare a nigga tell me that this rap won't work?